You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980. My name is Les Brown, and, and we always welcome you to join us, and we encourage you to spread the word. I want you to to tweet and and and, and do whatever you need to do. Just get the word out. Text people and email them and say, you know what, Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy Les Brown is on the radio from two o'clock until four o'clock Monday through Friday, bringing you a different kind of program. It's a different kind of feel, different kind of energy. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about the problems of the world. We just talk about human relationships, and it, it is designed for you to feel good about yourself. Yourself, to to create new possibilities to love your life to pursue your dreams and and to redirect your life and today we, we're talking about in this last hour about handling a broken heart when you have to break up from a relationship maybe somebody left you they don't they don't love you no more and they want out and they want to go on with their life and, and start someplace else or you decided I can't do this anymore. How do you handle that? And we had some suggestions from some some of our callers. Some one of the callers said, "Tim said, go to church." You, you know, sometimes that that's that's one of the times that I think that's when I de- delivered, discovered my level of spirituality. I was going through a heartbreak. I remember a quote that I love very much. That many times in life, when you have a teeth rattling experience and the very foundation of your life has been shaken, we run to God only to discover. That is God that's doing the shaking. And I mean, the end of that relationship, it was gut-wrenching. It was teeth rattling. It, it just shook the very foundation of my life. I didn't think I would survive, but I did. And so what it is to know that when you're going through that kind of pain, lean into it. Don't run from it. Don't try and avoid it. Lean into it and handle it. And if you lean into it, eventually you will grow through it. The other thing is spend some time to develop a relationship with yourself. Don't depend on others to make you happy. Ron Funderburg said, those who go searching for love only make manifest their own lovelessness. And the loveless never find love, only the loving, and they never have to search for it. So get to love yourself. Get to know who you are. I did not realize how I was unconsciously sabotaging myself in relationship after relationship after relationship because I was going around a leaking vessel. I was a needy individual, and I did not know that on the subconscious level, my private voice was saying to me, Les, if if your birth mother didn't want you, why would anybody else want you? And I didn't feel deserving of love, so unknowingly, I was sabotaging myself. If we knew better, we would do better. And once I took the time to get to know myself, I discovered that it was me. I was pointing at my partners, but ultimately I had three fingers pointing at me. And so one of our callers said, take ownership for your stuff. That's what Laura said. That's what Tim said too. Take ownership for your role and how things turned out. Laura also said, don't spend time by yourself. Get around loving relationships. It's That's very helpful. Sometimes you need just need somebody to talk to and listen to as you tell the same story over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Did I tell you? Yes, you did, Dad. You did tell me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you again because I left something out. Okay. That's that's a part of the process. And so just having people around you is, is very important. And the other thing is that as you're looking at getting out of a relationship is spend some time reading. And, 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 and Maggie McKay, she said, exercise, eat some dark chocolate. Yes, do something good for yourself. That's right. Find ways you can pamper yourself. Be good for yourself. Decide to wage a campaign. If nobody loves you, create a demand. <laughs> Decide that you're going to become a different kind of person and you will be surprised at what can come out of that. Now, I, I want to ask you to do something right now. And if, if you're one of those individuals like me, I love positive messages. If you do, I encourage you to go to my website, lesbrown.com, and, and you will, you'll be able to see a message there called, It's Possible. We talk about it every day. And the reason we do, I have emails from hundreds of people that you can read who've listened to that presentation. Their kids have listened to it. Their real estate teams, their, their the insurance companies, the people that they work with, and it has motivated them and has changed their lives. People that were going through some tough stuff. You know somebody that's going through something? Say, look, go to lesbrown.com, and there's a video there called It's Possible. Look at that and call me back in 
Tell me what you think. Don't tell them they need it because the ego will say, I don't need anything. Just say, go there and look at that. He's a guy with a funny laugh. Look, He looks real funny, too. Go there, lesbrown.com. Check it out and call me back. And then they'll get a series of other motivational materials that will change their lives. I'm telling you, it will. So we want you to, to join us tomorrow, and we'll have some more conversations for you, and we want to hear your story and just spread the good news. Listen, in order to become successful in life, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. This has been Mrs. Mamie Brown's Baby Boy. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.